I've been part of a study that's finally made it into press, and it's added more to the story about the Greenland melt sensitivity, that it's not just intensifying surface melting or ocean heating, but the effects of warm and wet weather. And so there's more rain events on the inland ice. And it's not just the lubrication effect of rain, but the heat that rain adds to the surface. Some past studies have interpreted some ice flow acceleration on Greenland to, to surface alone, but this study adds that uh, rainfall and the heat from rain and moist weather is, is also part of that story. So we finally put rain, and, and that's increasing with, with warming, into context with the uh, increasing Greenland flow. And it's not just the lubrication effect, it's the fact that this rain is several degrees above the melting point, so it's like pouring hot water on the ice the rain season is expanding later into the season. So we're talking like August, even September, where you can have a rain event. And this is after um, the subglacial network has, has kind of relaxed a bit and it can pressurize the, the bed of the ice sheet and lead to uplift and acceleration. So if the rain season is expanding, as, as we document in this study, um, it's, it's expanding the fast flow season, if you will. And what we document with uh, GPS on the surface is a rain event in, in August that, uh, late August, that, that actually lifts up the, the, the bed because it, it overwhelms the drainage system, which is collapsing again, because in the previous days actually it was sub-freezing, and then suddenly you have this warm event, and it, it just floods the bed, and the, the surface of the ice sheet goes up by a couple feet, and it accelerates, and and so then we're like, okay, well, are these events occurring more, more often? And we look at the last 25 years of data, indeed they are. And, and then climate projections suggest that these events will also increase. So it's a fairly clear picture that the fast flow season is expanding on Greenland, not just due to surface melting, but the effect of warm weather, wet weather, because liquid water liquid water delivers a tremendous amount of heat, especially when its temperature is several degrees above melting, and because the ice is several degrees uh, below melting. So this rain effect is, is starting to emerge, um, adding a couple pages to the glaciology textbooks.